Hey you guys, what is up? What is happening? What is going on with you today? I am Ashley with AEHM Artistry and this is another holiday review video that I have going for you. Review slash tutorials, three looks, one palette to be specific. And today we are gonna be diving right into the Tarte Winter Wonder Glam Palette Set. So I wanna talk specifications, I wanna show you guys all the goods and how everything's performing, how the wear is, and do a few looks for you guys today. So we are gonna be discussing all of that. And I do wanna remind you really quickly that I do have a giveaway going on on my whole massive holiday haul video that I posted a few days ago. So you can access that video and that giveaway by going down in the description box and clicking that at any point. You can wait till the end. You can do it right now and then come back to this. Whatever it is that you want to do, go check that out if you want to enter to win and all the specifications and details and how to's are there. And before I begin, if you guys are not subscribed yet and you want to get notified when I post new videos and talk more holiday products because I have a lot of reviews coming down the pipeline all discussing holiday products and I have other videos coming out too, so it's not just holiday, don't worry. But if you wanna see all that, then make sure you are subscribed so you get notified when I post those videos. Anyways, let's talk this palette. Let's have some fun. Let's play with some makeup and have a good time. And if you wanna see all that, if that all sounds good and dandy to you guys, then you know what to do. And if you don't, of course, of course, I'll tell you. Sit back, hang tight, and keep on watching. Boop. <laughs> Now, before we jump right into the eye looks, I wanna talk specifications really, really, really quickly for those of you guys who are interested in picking it up. This palette retails for $54 and I saw it available on Tarte Cosmetics website and then Sephora's website. It does say exclusive to Sephora and Tarte Cosmetics, so I don't think you can find it at Ulta, at least from what I'm seeing. And it comes with 24 shadows in this kit. Now, I counted three different textures and finishes, so that should be really fun. You have some metallics, you have some pressed glitters in there, and you have a lot of mattes. Now the theme kind of feels more neutrally with lots of pops of fun and a couple couple like play shades. So I think for anybody who is like in the workplace or wants to keep it more toned down or maybe for people that are just getting into makeup that know a little bit but want to dabble in some more fun because you know the pressed glitters and stuff might be a lot it's not so far advanced as you'll see as we go but it you know you know yeah you will we'll get into all of that. Not only does this palette come with the 24 shadows but bonus it also comes with the TARDIS liner and then also a lights camera lashes both of them are minis but you do also get this dual ended brush that is very very soft too so a little bonus action for you and that is that's pretty much all the specifications I have so let's go ahead now and jump right into look number one so for my first look today, I just had to dive right into those pressed glitters to see how the formula is. So this is what I created and I'm gonna show you how the blendability is, how it's stuck and everything like that. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's jump right into the tutorial, let's go. <laughs> All right, so I already primed and prepped my eyelids using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set all underneath the brow area with one of the shades in here because it has a base shade in here. It's been a while since I've used a new palette with a base shade in it. So I'm gonna slide this puppy out. This is my first time using it, by the way. So we are gonna see how everything goes. That's why I didn't do the whole face makeup because I don't know if there's gonna be any fallout or anything. Ooh, okay, so the names of the shades are not on the pans, which drives me crazy, but they're on the back right here and it's very hard to see because it's like a little sticker over this. <laughs> so let me try to figure out what the base shade is. Mm, I think it's up to snow good. Uh, yeah, up to snow good right there. Boop. But I'm going to go ahead and apply it just underneath the brow. All that area right there, not the entire eyelid. And I'm probably gonna be using the same exact technique all three looks, so just know that. And Sassy Beverly Hills Eye Primer and Up to Snow Good. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and lay down a transition shade. So I think I'm gonna go in with this one right here next to the silver glitter. That one is called Mauve Magic. Looks like a really pretty blushy transition shade. Ooh. That's a pretty pinky transition. And P.S. I'm taking my Sigma E35 blending brush to do this. All right, so that is a really pretty blushy neutral shadow and it blended out very nicely. Okay, now I'm gonna take a more precise blending brush, the BH Cosmetics Rose Romance Blending Brush number six to be specific. And I'm gonna go in with 
I want to do, you guys already know what I do, but I want to do purple and, you know, and I want to use two of the glitters. So I think I'm going to blend out with a little mixture of this brown and this mauve called bobsled and cherry tart. These two right there, a little tap into both. I'm going to take it right into the crease. Just want to deepen up that transition shade. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, that's working out really nice. I like that. Now I'm gonna be using the black shade called Jewel and I'm gonna put it as like a base for my purple glitter. So I'm going to pop it right onto the corners, just right there and over here. And now I'm gonna take my smaller blending brush from Luxie, the mini tapered 121 and dip into that same shade, pat off a lot and just deepen it up and bring up that black a little bit. All right, that is fine. Now, hopefully, hopefully the glitters will work with the brush. We are gonna find out right now. Now, oh, now I'm taking the purple shade called Reindeer, ugh, Reindeer Snack. And again, like I said, I'm gonna try to use the brush. It's coming off on the brush, so that's a good sign. And I'm gonna be packing it onto where we lay down the black shade, hopefully, hopefully. And I lay down the black shade in case you're wondering so that if this isn't very opaque, that way it has something underneath so it's not like bare skin peeking through underneath. But the middle I think will be fine if it's bare skin because I'm gonna be using a lighter shade. It seems to be pressing on pretty well, just a little tiny padding motions. I am getting some fallout though. This is very flaky glitter, so keep that in mind. That is multi-dimensional and beautiful. I see it's like a majority of purple sparkles, but then there's also blue and pink in there. That is really cute. Oh, I like that. Tri-colored glitter. So now I'm taking my brush and I'm just not re-dipping. I'm just taking whatever glitter's left over and I'm kind of blowing out the lines. It's not like a hard line. Almost like a blended glitter, but not. Okay. That's cool. I really like that you can use the brush so far because with these talons that I have, it's very hard to get glitter and use my fingers as tools. So <laughs> price we pay. Now I'm gonna take this pinky multicolored one. Oh, I hate doing this called, no, black diamond. See, no, see this one's called Jewel. The black shade was black diamond, <laughs> obviously. I hate that. I, that's why I hate not having the names on there. It's for you guys, really, I mean, if you're not doing tutorials, you probably don't care, but I care because it helps you guys, you know, you know. So now I'm going to take that shade and pop it in the center. Ooh, that one is, I would say half and half pink and silver, half and half pink and silver. That is really cute. Oh man, maybe there's gold in there too. I don't know. I don't know, boo, but I like it. Pat up and do that same kind of blend out and I'm gonna make sure that they kind of mesh into the same color so I'm just gonna gently pat in between those lines so it's not like purple and whatever that color is in the middle more of a blend glitter blend glitter blend okay <gasps> that is so pretty Ooh, so pretty now I will say with these glitters I don't have a ton of fallout just a little bit and really that was like from the first dip so that is that's not bad. Um, I probably, if I was really careful, could have my face makeup done first. But if you wanna be on the safe side, do the glitter and then do your face makeup. But uh, I will say this glitter consistency, it's sticking to the lid totally fine and I can use a brush as you, you guys just saw. But I will say like the texture, it's almost drier than say like the color popped press glitters. And I say that cause I just got off of finishing the three looks one palette using the new Disney designer midnight masquerade palette. So it's kind of not as like that one is almost 
I don't know how to describe that. It's not creamy because it does flake too, but this one's just, it's a little bit drier of a formula. Um, I would say maybe similar to the Huda Beauty Nude Nude Glitter, maybe even a tad bit drier, but it sticks no problem. So hopefully it doesn't crease or anything. You see, I brought it up way past the crease. So if it does crease, I will let you know at some point in this video, some point. So let's go ahead now though and do lower lash line. I guess I'll just do the transition that I did on top and I'll do that on the bottom. And I know some people like to do their face makeup first and then do their lower lash line. So you can of course do that. I like to do this because I won't bring my concealer up more than I need to if I start my lower lash line blend out and then I can go back and fine-tune if I need to make sure to blend it into that outer corner let's go in with that maroon shade on the bottom I think I wish I had a purple shade in this palette there's a blue shade but I think it would have been better to do like a really good purple to go with that bang in purple glitter because the blue is almost random i mean you can make it work you can make totally make a look with it especially with that silver okay i'm taking it back because that silver in there has like a blue yeah there's like a bluish purple glitter in that silver so the blue will work good with that but i feel like i should have uh, maybe taken out one of the transitions and put in a purple shade just my opinion now in this palette oh my gosh there was a brush i should have used the brush i'll use the brush in my next look okay so don't worry, stay tuned. We'll see how this goes. I actually have a Tarte brush. This one right here that I used for underneath the eyebrow. I have this from a Tarte palette from like forever ago, forever ago, a long, long time ago. And I love that brush still to this day. It works really well, doesn't even shed, nothing like that. So anyways, and the rest of this palette, it came with a liquid liner and the Tarte's lashes, camera lashes, whatever mascara. So let me try to get this out with my talons. Okay. That came out no problem. So this is a cute little mini travel. I've used the Man Eater liquid liner and I like it a lot. So, whoa, this is not a liquid liner. My mistake. This is an actual pencil. I think that they have a Tardist liquid liner as well. Yeah, but this is the pen. This is like the twist up crayon. So I'll use that too. Okay. And I'm going to pop this now on my upper waterline. See how that goes. But anyways, I've used the Man Eater liquid liner. I like it a lot. I do have a holiday set of the trio of the Tardis liquid liner with the dual. So it has this on the other side. So that will be in a different video. Seeing how those go. Um, let's try it on the top. But this is glitter, so I usually like to do liquid. Yeah, I'll save that. I'll save that <laughs> uh, for the next look because I think I'm gonna do a neutral look next and that will go just fine with that. So let me save that. It doesn't it totally look like a liquid liner though. It looked like it was just gonna, but it wasn't, <laughs> but it was not. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my liner and lashes, everything, face, everything, and show you guys what's up, finish look. Um, I'm not gonna use Lights Camera Lashes Mascara that came with this right now because you're not really gonna be able to see it because of all this glitter. So I'm just gonna pop on lashes today. In my next look though, I'll zoom in and show you guys what that Lights Camera Lashes look in case you haven't used it yet. And I will be back in a Chippy Jam. All right, I am back and one final touch for the eye look and then I'll talk a couple specifications and details of what I used. I'm gonna take, I don't even, I shouldn't even keep trying to guess what the names are. I'm gonna take this champagne-y shimmery shade right here and put it on the inner corner because I just needed a tiny bit more shimmery glam. Yes, that'll do. That'll do just fine. <laughs> All right, so for my lower lash line, I went ahead with a purple liner. This is from the LA Girl Glide On Collection. This is the Paradise Purple shade, and it just kind of, you know, added some more violet purple essence to it, which is, like I said, what I feel like the palette was lacking was like a nice purple shade that's like more matte to go with this, but this purple liner just kind of brings that essence into it. So pairing that with this glitter was was a good idea. I really like that together. And then for the lippies, in case you are interested, I used the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in 03 Nude. Love this lip liner. So creamy, long lasting. Great. And then for my lipsticks, this is one of my all time favorite nude lipsticks. This is the Revolution Pro in Stripped. And it is such a pretty, 
pretty pinky nude. I love it, you guys. And it's affordable. I think it's like eight bucks, somewhere around there. I just love that one so much. And then I did a little bit of a gloss on top. This is the Too Faced from the Fruity Tooty collection. This is the Grin and Barrett lip gloss. It's not sticky, but it's not like a liquid, liquid, liquid gloss. It's more of like a glittery, not even glittery, just shiny, stay there type of gloss. It's very unique, very different, very interesting. Anyways, here's the completed look all done up for you guys to see one more time. I really like how this turned out. I think it's so fun, so beautiful. Not exactly like holiday colors per se, but I'm, I'm really, really liking it. I really hope that you can see all the different glitters in there. If not, I'll put up my, my closer zoom for my phone in there because usually it can pick up all the different shades. It is just so pretty, so multicolored, and it just popped on right away. So I am so glad everything blended out beautifully so far in this palette and the glitters worked amazing which is what I wanted to get straight to the point in with this first look. Just about to jump in the shower and almost forgot to uh, update you guys. Little itty bitty, itty bitty tiny bit of creasing there but glitter's been on for about eight or ten hours so I noticed that it's starting to wear like around five hours which is mostly typical for glitter for me for my you know slightly hooded eyelids so just take that into account if that's a deal breaker for you or not. For me no big deal. Nobody sees it when I'm talking anyways. Only when I go like this. Then you see it, you know? Let's play around with some neutral shades in this palette. I'm gonna be doing this rose goldy neutrally look and bonus, I did use some magnetic liner lash sets today. Just one set, I don't know why I said that. But if you wanna find out what it is that I used and the pairing, then make sure to stay tuned because I'll talk about it when the look is completed. Hello, it's 6 a.m. and I'm in my bathrobe. What are you up to? How you doing? Okay, so look number two, I've already prepped my eyelids with the ABH primer and I went in with the base shade in the palette. I'll be doing this for the next look too. So this one right here. It's funny because it looks like it would have a little bit of shimmer to it almost, like a sheen, but it doesn't. In the pan it does, on the lid it doesn't. So just thought I'd note that. Anywho, let's go for, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. You guys already know what look I did, but for me it's hard to do neutral looks when there's colors next to the neutral <laughs> shades. Anybody else have that problem? Uh, because that's me. All right, I'm gonna try, let's see, what haven't I gone in with? I think I'm gonna go in with this one. It might be too light for me, but let's see. This one right here. I'm done trying to say the names. Sorry, I'm done, because it's just it wasn't working out yesterday when I filmed look number one. Okay, so I'm gonna pop that in, all right, up here with my blending brush. Yeah, that's very, very light, but if you are fair skin, then this will be a good transition shade, but it is very, very light. I know on camera, it looks like my skin is fair, but I'm more of a light medium without all these lights projecting onto my face. I guarantee you guys can't even see that. I guarantee it. I can see it a little bit in my mirror. Okay, so moving on to a different transition shade, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this one down here, which is like a nice camel-y color. I'll pop it right in here to make this my actual transition. So if you're deeper skin tone, don't even bother with the uh, first blend that I just did. Go in with this one. Done with that. Now I'm gonna start getting the party started. I'm gonna go in with the deep warm brown shade in this. It's very warm in tone. I'm gonna pop it onto the crease again, number three. And I'm not gonna bring it up as high though, so I have this smaller blending brush from BH Cosmetics. This is from the Rose Romance set. I'm taking it out slightly because when I go to do my makeup, I will wipe and kind of carve that out a little bit, but that is blending really nicely on top and deepening really nicely. Not patchy or anything, really pretty. So there's that. Let's go ahead and do a little tiny cut crease. I'm gonna be using my ABH primer. If you don't have this, just use whatever concealer you think will work. Usually I use one that will dry down a little bit and not be too, too wet because those ones are a little bit harder to work with. I'm gonna take my little tiny crease, conce crease brush. This is a little concealer brush, but I use it for my crease. Again, from the BH Cosmetics Rose Romance set. And I'm gonna carve a little tiny crease right here. Little baby crease. And then on the edge, just blend it out because we're gonna pack in some deep color over there in a minute. 
Now, I've been really wanting to play with a couple of these shades in this palette have like this shiftiness to it that look very duochrome. So I'm gonna be taking this one right here and using the right side of my brush. They're like, are they creamy? Oh, they're kind of creamy. Ooh, not creamy. That's not the right word. It's not like a cream shadow, I don't think. Interesting. It's like a foil, like a foil shadow. Maybe it's not going great on the brush, but I need to make it work because I want to carve out this crease. Was not expecting that. Hmm. Really pretty though. It's a very pretty rose gold. Just odd. Okay, let me try. It's gonna be so hard to get into the pan. Okay, have it on my finger. Let me just press it on. Oh, it works so, so much better with your finger. So if you don't have crazy talons, you can go in with this, but I still needed to use a brush to get that carve. So I personally would just do a blown out look next time I use this and not mess with the whole carving out, but it is really pretty. I'll do either eye, I'll be right back. All right, because I had to use my finger, I got like a lot of shimmer on the lower, so don't mind that. Now I wanna go in with a little bit of inner corner. So I'm gonna do that one right there. See, this one didn't need to be patted with the finger. Okay, do a lower lash line real quick. I sorry, I just had the Jeffree Star Shane video going in the background. Anyways, I'm gonna do the top onto the bottom. There we go. So same shadows, different place. <laughs> Oh, and I almost forgot. Let me take this little angled brush and do the deepest brown shade and go in and deepen this outer corner. And then I'm just gonna blend that edge so there's not like a hard line between a blend and a deep color. In case you're wondering what tiny itty bitty blending brush this is, it's a Sigma E36 blending brush. Perfect for those little nooks and crannies. Now I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and just gently go over this area right here. And then over here. I might go back later. I'm blowing that out after my foundation's done, but for now, I just wanted to clean it up. Okay, take off all this metallic that fell when I was applying it with my finger. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do all the rest of my eyes, face, everything, the whole kit and caboodle and then we will wrap this look up. I'm so weird in the morning and I'm weird in the afternoon and I'm weird in the evening, I'm just weird. Okay, bye. Or not bye, but be back in a sec. All right, transformation complete. Mm. Oh, I have one thing to say about this detailing work that I did detailedly. I have slightly hooded eyes, so every once in a while, if I use certain metallic -y or shimmery shadows, they will transfer up on my upper eyelid and that is what happened ladies and gentlemen so all of that precision work that i did it is all for naught <laughs> because all of it has transferred right up there it's all it's fine everywhere else but i can still see a little bit of definition just just know that this formula is very interesting very very oh my gosh i forgot to use the eye brush again i am so sorry we have one more chance though, one more chance to try to remember it tomorrow when I do another eye look. But anyways, so far, yeah, that formula over here is very odd, very interesting. This is the finished eye look, all done for you guys to see, as if you haven't already been staring at it for the last couple minutes while I talk. In case you want to know a couple details about like what else I used, I did use my Pro Magnetic Eyelashes from Eyelure. However, I only used the lashes, and then I went in with the Ardell Magnetic Liner because I had some requests to do that and here I was trying it today and it worked so much better so 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 much so the Ardell magnetic liner is what's up but the lashes they don't matter they both work and I love these foaming volume they are beautiful and then I just did a brown liner in my waterline for lips I used the Too Faced melted matte in the shade cool girl and then topped it with the lip injection from Too Faced this is just the regular one and it's so so glossy, so glossy. And I actually don't even feel the plumping because I already had the lipstick down, but I keep things in a box for a while when they're new because it makes me feel like, it makes it feel more special. And then when I'm sick of using the box, then I'll throw the box away. Anybody else do that? <laughs> okay, so enough about that. You get the hint, you get the neutral look, rose goldy vibe that we did right here. Let's go ahead and move on to look number three.
Here's the last look that we're going to be doing with this palette today. It's just a really pretty cut crease with just a little pop of glitter for some fun. Okay, so I already primed and prepped my eyelids just as I've done in the exact same other two looks, thingies, whatever. So I'm gonna go in now with a blending shade. We're gonna kind of do, well, you've already seen. You've already seen what kind of look we're gonna do. But I'm gonna go in with this pinky one right here. I think I might have used it in the first look. I don't know, it's already been dipped in. So I think I used it in the first look and now I'm already forgetting because you guys, I'm filming so many different three looks, one palettes right now with so many different palettes that I'm getting confused. <laughs> so anyways, let me get to my blending brush. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna take this maroony pinky shade and deepen up the crease and kind of wing it out a little bit. By the way, this is the flatter brush that I have from Sigma. It's the E25 blending brush. All right, now I'm gonna take my little angled brush and just pop that same shade right onto the outer corner. Boop, 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 boop. This shade is totally my vibe, totally my jam. I love maroony, pinky shades. I love it. Mm. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and mm, let me take my little brush and let me take the lightest shade that's silvery in the palette, this one right there. And let me see if I need to lay down a concealer for this. I just hate to put in all that work and then like an hour later, it's all mushed all over the place. You know what? No, that shade's actually doing just fine and I'm not having to use my finger either. I wonder if wetting it, maybe I should wet it. All right, okay, all right, okay, all right. Let me dip that now and see. Ooh, yeah, honey. Yeah, hopefully you guys can see a difference because I sure can. Yeah, I can get way more precision that way and I didn't have to use concealer or primer first, so that's nice. Right there, okay, now let me do the other side real quick. All right, now I wanna do something a little bit special and different. I'm gonna take this multi-colored shade right here. I think I used it on my First look, did I? I don't remember now, <laughs> you guys, so bad. Uh, and I'm gonna pop it just on the corner right here. So just a little bit, a little bit of glitter, you know, for those people that just wanna dabble just a touch. After you like lay it down and there's not much left on your brush, just gently bring it out on the corners a little bit. It's almost like you're blending the glitter, you know? You guys. <laughs> I'm looking down, putting on the shadow, whatever. And I specifically put out these three products out of the box at the beginning. So I would remember to use them specifically the brush that I've been promising this whole time to use. And I didn't use it. <laughs> Let me just say it is very soft. I will use it on the lower lash line right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just for giggles, let's take this fluffy brush and let's see how it blends right here. Blending pretty good. I'm so sorry, you guys. I even was editing my other two videos last night and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot to use the brush. I need to make sure that I use it. Let me put them out. And I did. And here we are. Let's go ahead and use this smaller end on the brush that comes with the palette on my lower lash line. I'm just using exactly what I used on the top for the mattes. That's kind of how brushes in palettes go. Sometimes I find really good brushes in palettes, but I won't use them for a while because it's in the palette and it's not in my brush cup and I'll forget. So now let me take the deep maroon shade. Okay. Honestly, no complaints as far as the lower lash line goes. And it does seem very fluffy on the blending side. So I think it'll do just fine. It's not very pointed, but in case you're interested, it seems like a good brush. It's not scratchy. It's very soft and enjoyable. So now let's use these a little bit. I'm gonna use the Tardis, the twist up liner, not the liquid liner, although I really wish that it was a liquid liner. I'm gonna probably end up doing a wing, but for the sake of testing this out, let me go ahead and line because I really want to see how creamy it is and how well it works. Because I know some of you guys like to use these to just line the top. 
Uh, it's, I'm having a hard time. I'm not used to using these anymore. Um, if you like a smudgy look, it'll be fine. But I do prefer... Mm, I need prefer more defined line, and it's too hard to get into my line with that. So I'm just gonna try to make it the same, and then I'll cover it up with liquid liner. Bleh. Works fine for the upper water line, though, so that's good. That's pretty much what I use these type of pen... <laughs> pencils for anyways gotta go find that all right got it okay so now i'm gonna use the mascara which i meant to use in the last look but then i ended up doing the the lashes the magnetic lashes so i'm gonna do them today i do mascara anyways before i apply lashes so i will be doing fake lashes but i want you guys to be able to see this lights camera lashes in case you haven't used it yet it's not my favorite mascara by any means but it works just fine. So I know it's a lot of people's favorites, so it's not surprising that they included it in this set. All right, lashes curled, let's apply. All right, so this is with the mascara lashes. Now keep in mind, my lashes are fairly long as it is, but they're not necessarily like thick or voluminous. This mascara, in my opinion, doesn't volumize, at least for me, very well, but it does lengthen a little bit and it grabs every hair. So it depends what you're looking for. For me, I like a little bit of curl and I like some more volume because I'm fine on the length, but you might really just need lengthening and you know, like a more soft, fluttery lash. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest, put on some lashes, finish my makeup, and we will talk the rest of the details, talk opinions about this palette. Now that that's three looks, and I'll be back in a Jiffy Jam Ram. All right, I am back, and this is the final look, all completed and all done for you guys. A couple little specifications for you. I used the House of Lashes in Allura for my faux lashes, and for the lips, I did a mixture of the Dose of Color Liquid Lip in Stone, one of my all-time favorites right here, and then I topped it in the center with the Stila Stay All Day in Rosa to lighten it up a smidge bit, and then I went ahead and did my inner corner too. I did a little highlight in there. I just used the lightest shade in there. The same one that we did for my crease right there. And now I'm realizing I probably should have went with the silver to try something different, but I didn't. And P.S. for those of you keeping score, I have not had any kind of transfer from that silver that we put onto my crease area up top. And it's been about the same amount of time as the last look. So I think wetting the brush helped tremendously, tremendously. I have a couple things to say about this palette overall, since this is kind of like a first impressions, three looks, one palette tutorial situation. The mattes. The mattes are gorgeous as you guys saw. So, so, so pretty. The glitters, the pressed glitters, amazing. I love that I can use a brush with them. That makes it so, so simple. I have hair flying everywhere. And I think that they are amazing. I love them so much. I did have a little tiny bit of creasing that one day, but it was totally fine. I have slightly hooded eyelids, so that can be expected with me. It's pretty rare when a pressed glitter or any kind of glitter doesn't have a little bit of creasing after a while. Glitters, yes. Mattes, yes. Now these metallic shades, there are quite a few, quite a lot, quite a lot of at least nine that I'm seeing right off the bat. Nine of those metallic shades in there. Now, I am glad that I did this three looks one palette because I really got to know the different formulas and the different shades. And I am happy, really, really happy that it was able to work with the brush and using some kind of spray or wetting your brush to apply it because it's totally fine if you have to use your fingers, but for these long, long nails it just doesn't work out when I want to sport those in I want to sport them a lot these days since I've been playing with that Orly gel effect set anyways um so because you can wet your brush with it and make it usable that kind of saved this palette because it's like almost half the palette not half but it's a good portion of the palette and I would hate for me to not be able to use them because I'd have to use my fingers and whatever. And I don't know how many of you out there also need that. So I just wanna give you all the information that it is. The glitters in here, you guys, I can't say enough beautiful things about because they're like tri-colored glitters, except like the gold. The gold maybe only is just gold. Maybe it has silver in there too. But that is so cool. That is so pretty. The little guys that were included, if those are your thing, then that's great. The brush is great. I will use the brush again. Mascara, like I said, I don't love that mascara overall and I didn't love that Tardist 
pencil thing just because I honestly my favorite pencil is the Marc Jacobs highliner it's a lot more expensive but I love that it can twist up but it feels more like a gel crayon this Tardis one doesn't have that crayon feel it just feels like a twist up liner so I don't personally love that formula but that's across the board for any of them that are in that plastic canister twist up thingamajig that's just how it goes so I'm really liking the palette I think that these looks are really fun and beautiful I think this is a great set for beginners and people that need to use a lot of neutral colors but then at night or on the weekends or some special occasion you want to get a little bit festive and a little fun do some glitters and stuff so I do like the versatility of that and that you can kind of play around. I guess not beginners because the textures are so different, but just somebody that likes makeup, likes to play, likes to have fun, but also likes to keep it a little more neutral and a little more safe. There's no like wild and crazy colors in here, but it's fun. I like it. I like this palette a lot. I'm going to be using it throughout the season and I'm really excited about it. So just kind of wish that there was another shift in here because they're going to tease you with this sequence, but then it just is, I guess it's, no, it just, it doesn't. They should have put like a design underneath or something. They should have just went that extra mile in my opinion, or at least made it gold on the other side or a picture of Jeff Goldblum on the other side. <laughs> Has anybody seen those pillows? Those pillows are awesome. But anyways, that is it for today's video. If you are new to my channel and new to my face, then I would love it if you would consider subscribing. That way you get notified when I post new videos, which is about three times a week. And like I mentioned, I have a ton of holiday reviews coming out for you guys. So if you wanna find out what's good, what's not, or like what might jive with you and what doesn't based on what your preferences are, I try to go over as much detail and just give you the information. And that way you can decide for yourself if it's worth it for you or not. So I would love to have you part of my fam bam if you subscribe and to my OG fam bam out there, I hope you guys are doing super, super awesome and you're having a great day, a great week, a great time of year. I mean, everybody out there, really, I hope you guys all have a great, freaking awesome, wonderful, beautiful day.